show you a, a smart little trick uh, that uh, works with, with JavaScript. If we have a task that's going to take some time to complete, what we don't want is the user to keep clicking the button and for it to do the processing at the back end. So what we do is that um, we hide, we can hide the the button from the user while it's actually processing. So I'll show you an example here. So so let's say we have uh, this little page here. So this this is an elliptic curve factorization. It takes a number and then finds out the factors that makes that number. It's quite an intensive task and it's going to take a, a little while actually on the server. If we don't hide the button, then the user is going to continually click on the button until they create many processes or it's going to swamp the back end. Okay, so let's give it a try. And look, it disappears. Just doing the computing. And there it is, it's back again. Okay, did you see that? So I'll try another number. So let's go for 273, 273 factors 3, 13 and 17. There we go, a bit quicker that time. Okay, so did you see what it did there? So I'll show you another example. So I've got a little Caesar code thing. So with this, what we're going to do is call up the back end uh, and generate all the Caesar shifts. Okay, it disappears and then it comes back. Again, so we'll try again. There we go. Okay, so you can see here what's happening is that our button is disappearing. It's doing some processing. It's stopping the user from uh, clicking on it. And then when it is finished, it comes back again. Okay, so there we go. Isn't that great? So I'll show you how that works with uh, ASP.NET MVC. Okay, so here is our elliptic curve page that we that we have. So what I've got is I've got just a little partial view so I can reuse the button again. So I'll let you have a look at the button. So the button is... Uh, is here somewhere. There we go. Okay, so there's the, there's the button. Fairly simple. It's... Uh, we put it into a div, a div tag called target, and then uh, this is the, it's the standard button for a submit. So it's going to submit the details with inside the form to the back end. Okay, that's what that bit does. But then there's an on click event which says target toggle. Target toggle means that it's going to go to this div tag and toggle it, which means it will become invisible. Okay, so the minute the user clicks on the on the button, it's going to submit the form and then it's going to hide itself. Okay, so I'll show you the rest of the button. There it's there. So it's uh, with inside a form and it'll do a post and everything's fine. Okay, so that's the hidden part of it. So let's see how we can actually unhide it. Okay, so this is the page that I'm updating here. I do a partial for my controller, I do a partial update on just a part of the page. So there's the partial update. So there's the little bit on the screen that you can actually see the little black box. It just updates that using an Ajax call. And then we can see here that target.show is, is called up, which means that whenever uh, we come back from the controller, it will re-execute just this bit of code. Okay, so what's happening here is that uh, it's just a part of you, so only this bit of the of the page gets updated. Okay, so when it comes back, let's take a little minute, when it comes back, the post only goes to here. So you see there's no refresh to the rest of that page there. That's what Ajax is doing. Okay, so when it comes back, it will post, it will, uh, the controller sends back here and then just shows the button again. And it's all done by magic. 
So I'll try and show you what the controller looks like. If I can find it. Here we go. And uh, just let me find where we are. Okay, so there's the there's the partial view returned there from the way we do a post. And there's the, the partial view return. And that's how it does it. Okay, so just give it one more try. And this time we'll give it a bigger number. Okay, let's try this number here. I just got rid of the extra characters. And we'll see how long this takes. Okay, so if we didn't hide it, then the user wouldn't actually know that, that uh, something was actually happening. And there you go. Okay, so the factors of this is hopefully 2069 and 3571. Okay, so that's been just a little introduction to how you can use JavaScript to hide uh, a button and then make it appear in ESP.NET MVC.